Hello everyone, it's great to have you here on our YouTube channel. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a chat flow with ChatGPT integration. First, let's set up the ChatGPT integration. Navigate to the settings section and then to integrations. Here, you will need to enter your OpenAI API key and select the default OpenAI model. I recommend using GPT-40 as it is the latest, fastest, and most cost-effective model. Now let's create a chat flow. Navigate to the chat flows section, click the create button and enter the name of your flow. Once you're done, you'll see that the chat flow already has a start command. Let's leave it as is to use as our chat flow starting point. Let's add a message action and set a greeting message. As we are waiting for the customer's reply, we also need to enable the wait for reply option. Next, we need to add the integration action. In this step, select ChatGPT. Additionally, we'll provide some instructions for ChatGPT to ensure it understands more about our company. We'll also assign the name Alice to ChatGPT. Let's also add a custom function. In this example, we want to trigger a specific action when a customer wishes to connect with the customer support or sales team. Let's add a subtree that will activate if the customer wants to connect with the sales team. First, include a prompt asking the customer to enter the message that will be sent to a live agent. Enable the wait for reply option to await the customer's message at this step. Next, add an invite agent action. Optionally, you can specify the department and set a timeout that triggers if no agent connects to the chat. I'll set the timeout to three seconds just to demonstrate how it works. Let's create a fallback subtree that activates if no agent joins the chat. I'll start with a message that says all agents are currently busy and ask the customer to provide their email address for further contact. Since we are expecting an email address, let's set up the email validator and add a fallback message that will be sent if the input is not a valid email address. Now, let's link the actions together. Let's create a success message. We can simply duplicate the existing message and modify its text accordingly. Additionally, we want to save the customer's email to their data so we can view it later in the contacts table. To do this, we should add an email variable and store the input value in that variable. Done. We now need to assign the customer's email address to the email variable. All right, our chat flow is set up. Let's test it and see how it performs. Once the start button is pressed, the first message will appear and we can send a response to initiate the dialogue. Let's ask a specific question about any chat. As you can see, ChatGPT uses information from our instructions. Let's also inquire about the assistant's name. According to the instructions we set in ChatGPT, the assistant's name is Alice. Next, let's ask Alice to contact the sales team. We will be prompted to enter an initial message that will be sent to a live agent. During the test run, we can't send the invitation to a real live agent, so we will wait for three seconds to check the timeout subtree. As you can see, the timeout subtree is triggered and we are prompted to provide our email address to proceed. Let's try entering an invalid email address first. It's rejected. Now, let's send a valid email address. It is accepted and we receive a success message. That wraps up this video. I hope you found it helpful. See you in the next one.